Hello everyone and welcome to a new video on the channel. Today we are setting up the month of July in my reading journal and I do want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has been really patient with me over the last few weeks while I've been recovering from what ended up being pneumonia. Uh, yeah, not the greatest thing to have happen but thankfully I am speaking again and I feel a lot better. I'm still in a recovery mode though. I'm still not 100% so um, the schedule for the channel is still a little bit up in the air but enough of that um, it does mean that this video is a little bit late getting out so let's get straight into talking about this month's theme. Um, so if you're new here every month I have been taking you to a different fantasy destination in my reading journal this year and I am very pleased to say that last month was extremely cold and um, I live in the southern hemisphere so of course I wanted to represent something that was wintry and um, magical and then for July I've decided to go the opposite end so to like a tropical jungle type island um, we've got the sneak peek um, quote of discover the island secrets but I was um, toying with also saying something about snakes and um, betrayals because this place might be beautiful but it is incredibly deadly so um, I <laughs> knew as soon as I did a wintry theme for June that I would try and do a northern hemisphere summer type vibe for July and once we flip this piece of paper over you might get what the prompt is um, or the place we're going to and that is Ithikana which is one of the kingdoms for the Bridge Kingdom um, series by Danielle Al Jensen I absolutely love this world. I do have to admit, Ithikana, whilst it's beautiful and very magical and like mysterious, I should say not magical, um, it was not my favorite place in this world. However, I knew I wanted to do this world specifically, uh, or sorry, this kingdom, because I just think it has the best vibes. But for me personally, I am definitely more of a fan of Kiris than Lara and Aaron, though I absolutely adore both of them, and I'm glad that I get to represent them in July's theme. So I decided to grab a lot of tropical-based elements for the month of July, um, because I've been doing a lot of the same color schemes, and unfortunately I did, again, end up going blues and greens um, for this theme. But I wanted it to be a bit more brighter, and just a lot more uh, upbeat kind of in its vibe so with the help of the Pinterest um, aesthetics I went for a very um, what is the word I'm looking for um, outdated book sorry not book paper pack decorative paper pack um, I've had this for at least 10 years and I couldn't recommend it to you because I know you can't buy it anymore um, but I really like this tropical island paradise I think the paper's called vibe that I did as the backdrop and I wanted to do something that wasn't so structured so I decided to cut out a bunch of circles and different shapes and sizes in that paper and use that for the backdrops of almost every page. Um, I did also put on the tab for July but found it to be in my way so I will have to place that back on after I've done this entire spread but for now it's um, off and back to um, what I was talking about I yeah really want a bright color so I used a lot of teals rather than the blues that I have been using this year and a lot of brighter green um, and the font that I chose for all the headers was Black Ship and um, I will try to link that in the description along with all the other supplies that I end up using throughout this video um, I really 
enjoyed these pens specifically but they are also very challenging to work with if you want to write over top of them so I have um, just received these in a mystery fun pack over June from a local shop here in New Zealand stationery shop Miso no Oto and um, I just really really like them I would have never brought them for myself but I'm obsessed with them they are glitter based highlighters so they are just fantastic up in person um, so the green in the um, calendar is all glitter um, when you look at it up close and whilst it's really fun and looks great it's not the best to work with trying to write over top you'll see in a moment that I go in and try to write with a um, Stadler Tri Plus fine liner over top and I didn't have the greatest time admittedly and had to swap to a jelly roll um, moonlight I think I used the moonlight color um, one of the jelly roll pens that I used in my black journal last year because they're very inky and could go over almost every surface so here I am using this green um, fine liner and realizing the glitter is pretty much eating the tip um, and that actually becomes a problem later on in the video we will get to that um, not too far away actually because this video is kind of shorter than other videos that I do for my journal plan with me one because I didn't have extra footage I filmed this when I was incredibly ill and two um, I did all the headers off camera for every section apart from July so that saved me a great deal of time so I ended up moving in so you can see a little bit but the blue down the bottom is also glitter and I just really really like these pens I can't even remember what they're called um, they but I'll link them below um, they're just amazing and the purple one is just my favorite but I've done too much purple recently so really happy I was able to use the colors um, that I could for this thing Admittedly, I hate how I do this top portion of the TBR page. I didn't really know how to get the photos to look like nice in around the half circle of the bamboo. So I ended up layering them on each other and ripping the paper so I can't really change them. Overall though, this two page spread was really easy to set up because I wasn't tracking like a readathon this month. So I just quickly jotted down the bare bones of the pages. At this point I didn't have all my TBR prompts sorted. So um, this page is actually filled in now, but at this point there was nothing to add in. So here's where things went a little bit pear-shaped. Um, this page is always very basic. There's not a lot of decoration on it. And I also did um, a lot of the line art with this very light teal uh, fine liner. In person it's absolutely fine, but on camera it looks like I'm not doing a great deal. And I finish this off and do my usual layout with a Tombow uh, jewel brush pen for the decorative color the same color that I used in the calendar for the days of the week and um, I then had to put in the headers for each section and unfortunately for me because that pen um, that I decided to use for um, those headers and stuff was the same one as the one that I used with the glitter pen. It somehow ate at the tip and ruined the pen. Um, I have since been able to, a few days later, go through and finish off this page, but um, when it comes to the actual um, finished product in this video, the two boxes down the bottom are not uh, completed because the pen just wouldn't work and I didn't have any other time to come back in and film the rest of it for the video to look complete. It is how it is. Sometimes we have these little mishaps in journaling that 
I just want to be transparent with this book is never going to be aesthetically pleasing like perfect every single time but um, sometimes these little mistakes are kind of like hard to fix and I didn't want to go through with the jelly roll and go over all of them it was here where I started to notice that the pen was not working uh, so I just gave up and here we have the final Philip through after putting in the numbers for the pages I if I read more than 12 I will add another page and I'm not sure what pen I'll use but uh, that is a problem for me to figure out later on in the month thank you so much for spending some time with me today as we go through the Ithikana theme for July I'm so happy with it even though it feels quite bare bones and until we next meet I hope you have fun reading or writing or journaling or anything and I'll see you in a new video Bye everyone.